Plastic Model Builders, hello, welcome back. It is I, Ari, your host of Plastic Model Builder. This is the Tamiya F4B Phantom 2 148 scale, part five of my series. These are the rear stabilizers. We're putting these pieces in. I don't know if they just put these in to make you put stuff in, or they're part of the model for, you know, whatever reason, conversions from a different version. I'm not sure. Anyway, you got these little guys here. Don't know what they're called. Got to put those in. Make everything look pretty. It's model making madness. So we have this thing right here. We are going to put together the rear part of the tail partially. I have this little guy. I don't know what it is. Somebody please tell me. Looks like a little pick of some kind. Then these inserts, I don't know whether they're nylon, rubber, whatever they are, Teflon, they go in there. Put those in just like that. It gives uh, the tail a little bit of stick when you move the stabilizers up and down since the model has movable stabilizers. Put those two halves together and we just glue them just like this. It's model making madness. Making it look pretty because that's what we do. Put that piece into the end, and once this is all glued up, do a little test fit on it, and we will set it to the side. Just to let it sit there, see what it does. So here's the test fit. See how this kind of goes in like that? It will sit on the underside of the plane, and you can move it up and down. So this is the tail hook. We've got two pieces for it. It goes together. You've got the main piece and then a small little piece. Put that in just like that, let it dry put that on or set it to the side. So here's the landing gear. This is what I was talking about in previous videos. Got that little guy there that needs to come off. This was a great idea for how they made the molds. Sand it down a little bit. Uh, I painted some things ahead of time, which looking in hindsight, you see how I had to take the paint off because I wasn't exactly sure how it went together. But this piece goes on the landing gear. Kind of a thick piece. Set that all together just like that. This is the other half. There's two of those. So you see how it goes right there. That's the rear landing gear. Just like that. Very simple. This is going to be part of the front landing gear doors. That piece goes right there. Put that on. You can see where it would have helped if these were together prior to painting instead of just painting everything all at once. So this is how that goes. Got our rear wheels. We're going to put those together. Make those look good. And then this is the IR sensor. Stands for infrared. It goes on the front of the nose. Put that together, and then we will put this onto the front of the nose. There's a small little place for it. Cut the nose off. Got a little tab here from the mold. You need to get rid of that, sand it, shape it, whatever. Got small little spaces right here. Take our IR sensor, carefully place it. You don't want it to fall in there. Just put a little glue. You're gonna have to take some doing. We're putting the front nose cone on. Gotta press hard on this. Maybe a little sandpaper might help. Hold it in place, let your glue set up, and bam, looks good. There it is. I like it. So these are the wings, at least the edges of them. We are going to put our hinges on. I did one hinge up, one hinge down. This is the down hinge to where the wing is flat and even. And this is the up hinge to where when you place this on the plane, your wing will be upwards as if it's just resting and getting ready to be stored away. We have these little guys here. One goes in each little slot, just like that. See how it goes? Put it in, right there. You can barely even see it once all the glue is in. Do the same thing for the other side. Putting these in, you want to see both of them. Uh, get some glue in there. You might want to use some other type of cement as well. And just see how it just kind of stays in place. Great idea by Tommy had to do this. Liked how it all turned out. I'm happy with this. That's the up version right there on that side. I did one complete side where everything was either up and then one side where everything was down, so to speak, or at least open and closed for that type of version. So there are both halves are in. I did put a little bit of glue in here to seal up that seam because it's a little bit more sealed up on the real plane, even though we know it moves up and down. So we've got some hinges right here for our ailerons, which are right there, and a cover for those. So there's the cover, two covers. 
one hinge will go up and one hinge will go down. If you want both of them to go up, leave them up. I did one of each, just so you can see how this plane looks. Get our glue on, got the hinges in place. Now we take these right here and put them in. And we do our other one right here, since of course there are two of them. Very simple, put that in. Now they are both done. Now we have our air brakes, got two of those. And of course you can do one up and one down. To do the one that's already inside, you are going to need to cut some stuff off. I forgot about that and I glued these little pieces on right here, but I'm going to show you how to fix that. It's not too hard. So you take one of these, turn it over, cut off this small little piece and you leave the rest of it right there. Just be careful. Can you see how that fits? Just like that. That is the flap that goes into the in position. Up, down, whatever you want to say, up. All right, so now we have pylons that we have to assemble and tanks. There's a lot of them, so just kind of watch carefully. We got this right here, put this together. That's one pylon, and then it has a little insert that goes into it, which will go right here that attaches to the plane. We will put that in, and then the uh, balancers. And you can't mess up the balancers on these, like on some aircraft or other models, because they have marks that tell you where they go. It comes in really handy. So this is the other one. You see how that fits together. A little bit more of a close-up view there. Of course, we're making these look pretty as well, too, because it's model making madness. All right, so these are the things right here that go inside of the pylon, and then that will actually attach to the plane, because you see it's got the little pins right there. And that's what fits under the wing. So you've got those. Here's the other one. Put that on. One for each side. And then here are the balancers. As you can see, there's four of those. There's the last one. See how they fit in. Just like that, there's one glued in place. You can't mess those up. They will only fit one way. Unlike, like I said earlier with other models, sometimes you put them in in reverse because they can kind of go that way. It's the way they're designed. This is designed better. Got a tank right here. Going to put that together. Just put the glue right down the center. Make it look pretty. Like we have done so many tanks before. This is the center tank. Got these little things right here that will attach to it. One on each side. Check your orientation. They go in easy and seamless. So that's that. Another pylon. Like I said, there's a bunch of them. Plane's got a lot of armor to it. It looks really good. More balancers. They did a good job. Everything turned out nicely for the wing stuff. So put that on there. These already have the inserts on them, the way it's molded. Secure it, just like that. Let it all dry with the glue. Here's your balancers. Put those in, one on each side. There we go. Simple. I knew you would agree with me. And here's one more. I know, I told you it was a lot. We'll make this one quick. Just like that. Both sides are done. Here's another tank. There are two of these. See, they have three pieces for each one. There they are. Maybe it's four pieces. I don't know. So we've got a little tab that needs to get cut off right there. Join the two halves together, like many bomb tanks like you've done before. Simple as pie. Put the little insert guy in there. I wouldn't know what you want to call that. I know the Navy people and the Air Force people know and they'll be able to tell me. Now we have this piece right here. Got some little marks on there so you know which way to go so you can't mess it up. And this one is also simple. So it was one, two, three, four pieces for those. And two of them, of course, when you go to put these together. And we are about to do our tail. That's right, the tail. A couple pieces for this little guy here, and we have to do some cutting. There are our antennas. Those are rather thicker antennas than some models. So we got this one piece here, I kind of score it. Then I saw it off, because each tail piece is kind of designed the same, and it fits together just like that. 
put our glue in the middle. You see how that goes. It's got some nice pins for there, so everything lines up perfectly. No guesswork. More wonderful stuff by Tamiya. So this is where the antennas are going to go for this tailpiece. Uh, you can just kind of place a tailpiece on if you want and let it sit there without glue, but I did glue mine on. I did wind up breaking the antenna towards the end because, of course, it's an antenna and, you know, they always break. But these are more sturdier antennas than other models. Little piece there for the tail. Get that glued down. Put it in right there. And the tail is complete. All we have to do now is put it onto the plane. So we get our glue in. We'll put it down, make it look pretty. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. Check out our new YouTube Facebook group. And until next time, as always, see ya.